Hey guys, Peter over here. Next clip that you're gonna see is me and Jimmy and Ryan discussing problems that we are having lately with USPS. But I wanna make a quick disclaimer here. In no way we are bashing USPS. It's amazing service. We love it. The cheapest way for us resellers to ship stuff. I hope they keep going. But there's lots and lots of issues. So here we are discussing what problems we're having and possibly I'm gonna give a few pointers what you can do to kind of protect yourself not so much from lost packages and uh, and what USPS is doing but how you should handle talking to your customers uh, so you don't get a bad feedback especially if you're selling like on eBay take a look so you are absolutely right Jimmy this would be a fantastic topic for the video because I just answered a friend who's in Canada reaching out to me via eBay, you know, messaging system, says, Pete, your advice on USPS. You had the same problem today. Mm -hmm. You talked to me about it yesterday. Mm -hmm. You have another story even today to talk yeah. about. And it's crazy. So USPS, guys, lately within last month, well, they've been notorious over the years. Yeah. It's certain, but not as bad as it's happening right, right. now. And I don't know what really is causing this issue, like that they are backed up so much. Lack of mm -hmm. employees, lots of people are not working or what? Well, I understood last year with COVID when it hit real hard. Right. And then the holidays, that was a nightmare. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But this is June. So I I had, uh, I ship out every day, like, you know, six days a week. Yeah. If you, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. If you guys don't know, Jim is my guy who I get all the suppliers from. The link will be down below. And he ships out a ton of stuff every single day. So he runs into more issues than us kind of average sellers that I, I'll have, you know, 10, 15, 12 packages a day. He has hundreds of packages. So he runs into this problem all the time. I'm sorry. So my latest one was June 1st, I, I get the packages picked up from the post office and it shows that they picked them up, that I printed a label, they picked them up. Right. Then nothing until the 5th of June. Uh, on the 5th, it says they're going to be late. That's, that, that's, that's, late, that's right, basically late. it. That, yeah. It never uh, showed a sort facility or anything else. So, of course, after a couple more days after that, I start hearing from customers. Right, you where's know? my stuff? Hey, where's, where's my, my package? Yeah. It hasn't updated, this and that. I'll check into it. So I'm calling up, you know, U USPS, but then they're... they're you leave a message and then they're right. not returning my calls. While I keep getting more and more and more, I got 12 packages that are hung up since the 5th. Nothing. I opened up cases. They keep sending me emails, but it's not like yeah. personal emails. It's no like a form really. letter, you know, yeah. hey, we're working, working. on, yeah. <laughs> Ruby. Well, she's probably having problems too. She's upset with you. Yeah. <laughs> she's upset with you. Yeah. So today, the 16th, after half of the after uh, having to talk to a representative and open up uh, cases, spent an hour and 40 minutes on the phone, open up cases with two representatives because the first one was helping me out, had to go on break. <laughs> so she transferred me to another guy. And they were both very helpful, you know, and it yeah. just took a long time to open up these cases on, on the packages. But hey, finally, uh, today, the 16th, they're all showing movement, so I, I uh, message all of the people and let so, them know. The gentleman, the gentleman who messaged me from um, from Canada, he says he's got I think eight packages out in limbo. He shipped them out between 20 and 22nd of May. So now we're approaching over three weeks, mm -hmm. and he says they for some reason came to some kind of hub in Chicago after a week. Zero updates since then, quiet, two weeks went by, nothing's happening. I have two packages right now in limbo that went from here, Crystal Lake, to Algro Village Distribution, then to Aurora Distribution. Two weeks later, no update, nothing's happening. My suggestion, this is what I do with, with, with the customers, depending on what it is, and if they're really pushing you hard, and if it's already two or three weeks later, just refund. If it was uh, um, priority mail, you have two weeks, I think it's 14 days, you can put the claim in uh, and you will recover some of the money. Now, if it's 
more expensive stuff that you guys had and it went out if you did an insurance well well the thing is with mine is I try and keep the prices low so I do a lot of right know, first class so there's no insurance on that so that's a killer they just gotta wait you know so but I did had many incidences that all of a sudden out of nowhere a month goes by and the package shows up right. so communicate with your uh, customers if they're willing to wait just explain that you're having problems USPS is slow and the packages are arriving but they're very late now the ones that will press you I want my stuff just refund it's not worth the headache it's not worth the negative feedback but the ones that will work with you they will understand and just you know be patient well so, when it happened to me in April this yeah. this happened to 13 packages um, I had my packages picked up like I told you but my um, my carrier was off. They had a substitute guy come, mm -hmm. and he was actually a new guy. I, so you always I, have a guy coming in every day, six you. days a week. Six days a week. Yeah, every okay. day but Sunday. So they have a new guy pick up. He picks them up, takes them. I happen to notice the next day. It's like all it shows is I printed the label. That's it. Right. So it's not that they scanned them in. Yeah, they, so I'm thinking he screwed up but it'll right. show up once they get to a sort facility right if they forget to scan it in later on the yeah. scans will start showing so i wait i start hearing complaints hey what's going on here it's not updating sure enough no update for a week i call up the post office i spoke to uh chris lake post office spoke to a supervisor a very nice lady uh helped me out she said oh i've seen this before a glitch in the system it's not going to show anything for a couple of weeks. Well, that's fine. I understand issues happen. Try to explain that to right. your customer and who's waiting for mailers so they can ship their packages out. <laughs> now, a lot of people don't order the stuff way yeah. ahead of time. Yeah. They list something and go, oh, oh. yeah, I'm going to need an envelope. And they order it from and a they, guy whose feedback shows that he ships fast because exactly. I ship within 24 hours. Yeah. But it's up to the post and they office want, you know, after he's that. He's thinking, I got three left. Right. I'll get some in a couple days. I'll be okay. And then two weeks later, he can ship stuff. Yeah. So I, I called up uh, eBay, and they said, well, don't worry about it. We'll back you up. You know? Yeah, but that's but, what they say. But you know, after you two dinged. weeks of nothing, right. except for showing I did a label, they've got to write. Yeah. You know, I mean, people, it, it shows that I, yeah. even though I have a, reputa a good reputation, yeah. So I refund it all, yeah. you know, and I'm trying to get at least my shipping costs back and from uh, from the post office, but I'm not having any luck with that either. Especially in, in the way you run your business, that it's all about time. People want this right. fast. So in your case, it is important that you communicate and refund those people so they don't mess up your feedback because there's nothing worse for like your business all of a sudden, you know, have that feedback yeah. tank, you know, so. Yeah, for for postal issues, eBay's been pretty good about backing me yeah. up if somebody is, That's you good. know. That's good. I mean, I feel for my uh, customers, but yeah. actually, all those, I, I refunded all of those people, and then three weeks later, uh, from the time I shipped, then they showed they were hitting sort facilities yeah. for the destinations, and then they were all delivered. Yeah. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the customers reached out and said, hey, I want to pay you. How about, you know, this and that? I go, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry what about was your what was your last issue? Well, mine I got an email this morning from eBay, like a customer on eBay, saying, "Hey, I, where's my item? I right, right. ordered it and it's still not here." And I week later, it said days, twenty-one hours ago, I shipped it. Go to the post office, and the lady goes and checks their supervisor. Says, "You know, oh yeah, he checked on it, and it's in a sorting facility." I'm like, "Well." here in Chicagoland or where is it where and no, she's like, oh you know I, I I really don't know what facility it's just it's at a sorting facility <laughs> you can't really answer you know it's so but that's one of the problems though see if 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 I called them about this not updating since the fifth and they said it's in a container at the sort facility put off the side because they're backed up it may be another week yeah then I can tell my customers. That's the thing, right? They just want to get an idea so they can tell their customers, exactly. hey, you know what, this is Be the clear. issue. That's the same or go thing. out and buy from Walmart or wherever, right. get their, you know, an emergency supply. Simple fix, everybody's in a loop, write what's happening. Like, 
the truck is delayed, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be another seven business days. That's all. And then you can communicate with everybody, just like you said. Like, we you don't know. Post office just say, like, hey, you know, we're expecting delays. It's going to be, you know, two to six days or something. Well, that's... Uh, Give a little bit of a time frame. You know, the funny part about it is I open all these cases with the post office, and then they pass it on to the local supervisors to deal with it. Yeah. They call. They let me know. They say, hey... Uh, we've been advised that there's an issue here and we'll look into it. How far are you going to look into it? You know, yeah. what they actually do is they put it on the side and then when it shows delivered, they call me up and they go, oh. your package has been delivered. Like I don't know. <laughs> like yeah. I haven't been checking every day because, they, they you know, I'll send my customers updates when it finally, yeah. that's what I spent this morning doing is uh, sending 12 messages out to my customers. Yeah. Uh, six, uh, six or seven open cases, and the other were just like, yeah, I, I'm a seller too, I understand. I mean, like I said, a simple fix would be just at least keep us in a loop, updated exactly. the way it should be. I know things go wrong. They process millions of packages mm -hmm. every right. day. Things are going to go wrong. But now, actually, it's it's the last couple months been horrible. Yeah, even if it's so, bad news, just let yeah. me be honest. Absolutely. Let me know what's going on. Yeah. Imagine if it stays like this, what the holidays are going to be like. Yeah, it's going to be a mess. You know? Guys, I wonder if how many of you had problems. If you did, drop a message below what kind of struggle you went through. Maybe maybe USPS will watch this video and do something about it. I doubt it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, more people are complaining. Maybe they'll pay attention to it. So, And, of course, I got my uh, helper working here very, very hard. Yes. I'm so sorry. I woke you up, my queen. I woke you up. <laughs> yeah.